friends so welcome to tech talk tech so today we will see how to inspect the ios app uh, elements so uh, recently the apm uh, 1.6 it's there is no gui tool so most of the people they are facing the uh, issues how to get the uh, out basically how to inspect the elements right so so i found some workaround like using uh, xcode accessibility inspector so using that you can uh, get the label get the accessibility layers and you can perform some actions and you can get the hierarchy of that uh, elements so uh, i i'm going to cover on this video on how to get how to inspect the ios app elements using xcode accessibility layer and some uh, run some demo on a real device using apm 1.6 that's it's a recent release okay so let's see uh, how, how how we can get that uh, ios app element okay so so for that you need xcode should be installed and uh, yeah that's it uh, and you need that device that should be uh, developer and enable mode so uh, so recent xcode 8 once you connect the device automatically it get uh, the developer mode get enabled so don't worry about that okay okay let me launch the xcode so since I already launched the uh, xcode so i can uh, see this so from there in xcode you can go to uh, developer open developer tools from there you can get the accessibility inspector yeah so just click that so it will open okay let me uh, mirror the device okay i can use the quick uh, sorry let me mirror it go here and just mirror yes cool so I got that device and let me open that uh, inspector yes so here uh, you need to select the target yeah so I, I need to select the target yes I got the sorry so I selected the target so now I need to tap on uh, any of the icon in my device so let me tap on uh, uh, something uh, some facebook okay not okay so before that you need to click this sorry you need to click this so this is basically inspect it so what after whatever you are clicking so whenever you click this it's it's, it's enable that inspector okay so it's saying uh, start inspection and stop inspection this is the button so i want to click the facebook now so now the things are something like this so you can able to see this facebook right okay so now what what i can try to do here i am just you can get the label yes and uh, other properties here so most of the things this will label you can able to access this uh, find by name or find by accessibility sorry uh, yeah uh, and then you can perform and scroll left and arrange app and uh, almost other things also you can see the hierarchy so it will give the hierarchy so let me click on perform action like activate cool so it's clicked awesome and close it okay so what i'm going to do now so apm has uh, some default uh, demo app so that is integration app uh, so i'm going to use it right now okay yeah so here you can get the uh, labels this one and I want to per perform the activate so basically I want to click the button so just click so it's it's changing here right and then I can click the back button yes I can click back button it's going back awesome so here you can uh, get the hierarchy so if you want to form the export or there is a predicted uh, the other things also there you can use uh, the equivalent of xpath so you can make the xpath or other predictor using this hierarchy view you can easily predict this so same way how we are doing in apm inspector so but there you can easily get the xpath 
so they apm dev they develop that export whenever you go the particular element so you, the export automatically form so but here you need to create the export okay so so there is a workaround using the accessibility inspector so you can able to inspect the elements so let me do some uh, some demo but this is how you, you, you need to get that uh, inspect the element yeah so what i'll going to do so already i get that some some piece of code so i can show you that so let me open that eclipse yep so here yeah this is this is a device udid and other capabilities yes and this this is my path where that uh, my integration app dot ap dot app and this is my uh, bundle id and this is a xc unit uh, automation name xc ui test automation name and yeah so coming to this locator part yeah this locator where you most of the case you can use a label as a name uh, and then accessibility id also and the name again the whatever the display name you can use both um, name by name or by accessibility id okay so let me start this uh, so let me check the apm is running or what yep so apm is running so what i'll going to do i'll let me start it let me first kill the apm let me start again okay yeah so apm server started so let me start the automation scripts can see started cool so let me show the device yeah so here uh, as as i said previously in the last video i showed how to integrate that web driver agent so this automation run through that web driver agent so you can see the console log as well as here so whenever the web driver agent get started so automatically here you can able to see that web driver agent get pops up after that it will uh, close it and again it will open that tab okay let's see it's getting started starting on device yep started minimize it it might take some quite a bit of time no okay yeah Let's get started yes clicked click back and click on scrolling now and click back awesome so it's done now so so these are the uh, small piece of code i written so you can do a number of things like you can get the export or id so whatever the current 1.0 apm uh, 1.6 apm supports whatever the locators there is a lot of uh, things you can go through that and apm uh, release notes so whatever uh, can go through that and you can get the locators and you can easily able to use it okay let me yeah so using this apm inspector you can able to uh get the locators and hierarchies and the action whatever the action you want to perform so there is a work around for that getting the uh, locators using the accessibility inspector so before the accessibility inspector uh before and all it will inbuilt with the ipad and as well as the, which means like ios uh, 9 before i think so i'm not sure but ios 10 uh, there will be there is no uh, accessibility inspector inbuilt in the device 
so you need to use xcode through that you can able to get that uh, accessibility inspector yeah so that's it so yeah that's it about this video so thank you so much so you can use this uh, if you have any queries and please let me know so i can try to address on that and just comment on the, the video so if you, if you like this subscribe it and like it and share it so thank you and bye